Chattanooga police officers stopped a vehicle on Wednesday they thought had been involved in a shooting incident on Bonnie Oaks Drive. Sergeant Philip McLean says the officers were looking for the person who shot at a number of vehicles. A witness had provided a description of the car and the suspect. Local 3's Abigail Martin explains how police approached a felony stop and why they released this body cam footage. McLean says de-escalation practices and active listening allowed officers to release the juvenile. He said they followed standard practices and that allowed them to make things right in the end. Step out! Turn around! Turn around! Back up towards me now! Keep coming! In the video, you see one officer stop the vehicle and get out of his car with a gun drawn, giving directions to the passenger. McLean says the de-escalation started at the beginning of the interaction. For a felony stop, it requires multiple officers, where one officer gives loud verbal commands. As protocol states, another officer approaches and handcuffs the juvenile. McLean says they looked at verbal and nonverbal cues to assess the situation. He says de-escalation protocols allowed officers to release those not involved. It's where we want to, where we train our officers to take a situation that may be a a very volatile type situation and to bring it down to where there's an ongoing open line of communication. Stay there. Are you shot? Are you hit at all? Have you been shot? Were you shot at? After realizing he was not the suspect, they release him. One officer wanted to explain things to the driver, the juvenile's mother. Let me go explain to mom what's going on so she understands. And of course, with the current environment that's going on right now, nothing is more important than assuring somebody that you're going to be okay. Just listen to what I'm asking you to do. Follow my directions, my commands. At the end of the day, hopefully we'll all go home safely. So. McLean says the police department released the footage for transparency with the community. He says Chief Celeste Murphy wanted the public to see how they handled the situation. What we don't want to do or create is a situation where people think that we've got something to hide because certainly we don't. We don't. McLean says they may have found one of the vehicles involved, but it was unoccupied. Right now, one suspect is behind bars in this case. If you know where the other person is, call 423-698-2525. In studio, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.